So in this video, I'd like to explain why I think swim lanes are irrelevant. I got into a rather heated discussion with someone at the No Magic World Symposium recently. Uh, their entire interface management strategy relied on swim lanes and interpreting them, and I'm going to show why I don't think that's the best way to handle things. So this is a diagram that's made with my hypermodeling approach. Uh, so these are call operations that are uh, then associated with individual parts by associating the activity edges with item flows. So see the hypermodeling video series on how and why this works, but notice that we have a variety of derived properties that we can display here, and you can see the ports that have been assigned, uh, the parts that are involved. There's a lot of information that can be extracted using the hypermodeling approach and the customizations. And notice that these functions are defined once at the camera block, their owned operations, but then they're used multiple times by the various parts. Notice how compact this diagram is. It's clean, it's nice. Uh, again, we have all these properties that we can look at uh, even in the spec window uh, with a little bit of customization. We have the output ports. Uh, it's all defined, correct? Now, if we look at the swim lane version, uh, notice that we've had to drag these in here. And so now I've assigned these the same way. And so we have all of this information in the swim lane. Now we have this mess here where how do we handle the merge? Where does it go? Uh, again, this whole thing is a lot less clean simply because we had to put swim lanes on. I would argue that competent execution with hypermodeling, where you're defining the operation and then either just showing it at the class or part level, tells you just as much and it doesn't waste all this space. You're not busy tracing your fingers on these lines. I mean, if you're relying on geographic positioning as a surrogate for some property, I think you're missing the whole point of SysML. Properties should be owned or inferred using queries. You shouldn't be doing it based on geographic positioning on a piece of paper or in a diagram. And so, you know, you could very easily develop a dynamic legend here that would ornament these or color code activity edges that are between operations owned by different classes or parts. I mean, there's a lot of ways to solve this with intelligent use of queries, dynamic legends, properties. You shouldn't be tracing your finger and looking at whether you're crossing swim lane lines. If you're doing that, I'm sorry, but in my opinion, you don't understand what a real competently executed system model is. Now, I will say this much, if you have stakeholders that are really hung up on swim lanes and won't let you get away without doing them, you know, I hope our friends at Tom Sawyer uh, or some of the other plug-in vendors come up with a way to, you know, spawn swim lane enhanced activity diagrams where the modeling team isn't trying to update them, but they can be dynamically generated. And hopefully those would respect some of these advanced properties and approaches that uh, I'm demonstrating.